say that today is a very important day for us uh, because uh, more people are getting confidence in what we are doing and wanting to collaborate with us. Uh, I mean, uh, this is uh, a good testament uh, of the importance of what we are doing, the importance of this course, but also uh, of a good statement of confidence uh, in, uh, in us as, as a team. Uh, we do hope that, uh, in, that uh, other individuals or other communities uh, will take the key from the Indian community and appreciate uh, that uh, what we are faced with is a very, very serious problem. Um, the impact of uh, the pandemic on our people already is huge. Uh, thanks to God, uh, we do not have many cases in this country thus far. And I do pray to God uh, that the cases we have would be limited to those that have already been announced. Uh, but the problem really is not the cases just by themselves. The problem is the effect of those policies or those rules that we have to live by in order to ensure that these diseases will be spread. And the government has rightly taken the most prudent decision, which is in fact the decision that is taken by most governments around the world, that people should stay at home. And we all do know that when that happens, many people would not have the opportunity to earn money for their survival. And this coincides with uh, one of the most difficult periods for poor people in our country, that's Ramadan. Uh, so, this course that we are on to, this effort that we are doing to provide food to those who have the most need for it, uh, I think is one of the most important activities. Uh, in this country at this point in time, at least for some people. Mr. Fall, you've said uh, that uh, this cost in providing food to the most needy people in these difficult times, uh, one country has been lauded by so many Gambians, but uh, you've also been slammed by uh, a government advisor saying that instead of working with the president, you snub the president and you instead work with the president. Well, you are turning this into a press conference. Uh, you know, but uh, let me tell you something. Uh, we are not interested in the politics or side shows. Uh, uh, you know, uh, at least one would expect that every responsible person would uh, really go to the bottom of things, get the necessary information before they make any pronouncements. You, know, you expect that when people uh, make statements, are surrogates of uh, the holders of the most important office in this country, you would expect that they would, first of all, try to get their facts right. Mr. Fall, coming from a community of non-Gambians that have extended a helping hand in this noble gesture, I, I, is the GNF appealing to other communities that are based in the Gambia? Uh, yes, but that is, that is the statement uh, I had just made, that uh, we want all and sundry, everybody to come forward and participate in this exercise. I mean, this is getting bigger and bigger, and uh, and and uh, the more hands we have, uh, the more support we have, the better we can do it. And just back to your issue, uh, everybody was invited. The president was invited. The first lady was invited. Hussein Mugabe was invited. Leaders of other political parties were invited to participate in this effort. It is not for us to force them to come and participate. It's their own free will. If they choose to do something else, that is not our problem. But uh, we wanted this to be a Gambian thing 
devoid of politics. We wanted everybody to have the opportunity to participate. And that is why, I mean, we have made it our preoccupation to encourage everybody who can to participate. Uh, I would tell you that there's this woman in Dilkama who was so moved by our appeal. She wanted to donate. She does not have anything. She gave us a bag of jahatu. You understand? There is this other guy who had nothing but just one cow. He gave us that cow. That is how much people have been touched by what we are doing. So, so this is very important. This is this shows who we are as a people. This shows who we are as Gambians. This is not partisan. This is not about President Baro or about Usainu Dabo or Khalifa Salah or Hamad Ba or whosoever else. This is about us as a people. This is about you trying to take care of me, me trying to take care of her and her trying to take care of him. We all as a people to try to take care of each other in this great time of need. It is foolish. It is foolish, I say, to try to politicize this issue. And it try it derails, it takes it takes the spirit out of what we are trying to achieve if people try to score political points on this on, on this important effort. I respect Adam Ogoro as my president, as I respect Kusoyno Dabo as my former vice president, as I respect Khalifa Salah as an important member of parliament, as I respect everybody else, like I respect you, you, you and you and everybody else. We treat everybody with respect and dignity, regardless of who you are, regardless of tribe, regardless of political affiliation, regardless of status. All those things are not important. This is a great time of need. If people would only follow us to see some of the things that we are seeing, the poverty that we are seeing, the deprivation that we are seeing, the suffering that we are seeing, they would probably think, stop and think twice and forget about this little political bickering and, 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 and pettiness they are bringing into this important issue that bedevils not just this little country but the entire world. I am shocked at some of the statements that are being bandied around. I'm disappointed. That this, com this that is coming from the presidential advisor. I don't know who the person is. I don't know what the person's title is. But to be quite candid, I don't care what the person's title is. The important thing here is we are not interested about little political bickering or scoring of little political points. What we are interested in is helping one another in this great time of need. This is the time when no one should see Manjago or Mandinka. This is the time when no one should see Fula or Jola. This is the time when no one should see Wall of Ocherir. What we see is Gambian. Are you worried about your security? Some said you should even be provided the security to what happens to you and the Look, we have entered 900 and something homes. Just look at it. Even you, if you enter 30 homes, somebody would ask you out. Well, we entered 900 and something homes. And it is only one person who says we are not welcome. So, should I be bothered by that? Should I really be bothered by that? Mr. Fadi, the country is a peaceful country. Uh, when time for politics comes, we come together, we do politics and all that. That's how things used to be, at least in the past. And when politics is over, people put all those things behind them. Well, I can are you tell sad? You. Are you, are you I can sad? tell you, this is not the time for politics. Not anywhere in the world. How so, so, so Mr. it Mr. is Mr. silly to, to want to politicize uh, a laudable humanitarian effort that people are under. This is about saving that child who is out there and may go for days hungry. This is about providing food to that guy out there who could not go to work. 
This is about providing food to that woman out there whose son is in Europe but unable to go to work to send her money. This is about providing food for that man out there who could not feed his family because he could not go out to work. This is about helping us individually as people so that we can all survive. You said this that now politics now transcends our, our most valued principles in our way of life. I am not interested in where, 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 where are we, we are, we are only not interested in politics. Yeah. You are trying to drive it. Mr. Falto, Mr. Falto, a more pertinent issue. The conversation to go. What we Excuse are me. interested Excuse in. Excuse me. I'm trying to question us for him. You can talk. I, I, you can I, talk I, for him, sir. I, I absolutely. And, 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 and we all do respect. respect, 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 respect. respect. And, and he knows so, how he is. Yeah. He is spoken for. Yeah. But what we are trying we, to do we here is not. It's not about politics. What we are trying to do here is to help people. And he has already emphasized that so many times. You see, it is now silly season for some people perhaps maybe because of the reduced activity a lot of people have more time in their hands to play with and uh, uh, maybe not knowing what to do with it they bandy around crazy ideas but this is not about politics. when we go out there to the people what we see is Gambia when we relate to the people we see what we see and what we talk about is how to protect one another as a people. So maybe it's those sitting in their armchairs are politicizing it because they have nothing better to do. But I would not really honor those trivial issues by further making pronouncements on, on this issue of politics. So, so you are... Mr. Uh, Mr. Fall, now, now, now that the JNF is about to embark on a journey to the North Bank Division, as it, as it has been said in the social media that the people have been only thinking about people in the West Coast region. What are we expecting from the GNF? Uh, well, it, you know, when people don't know uh, something, uh, they would tend to speculate. Uh, but uh, we want to reach every needy Gambian. So, and uh, our plan is to go further and further into the country and uh, to get the deepest reach that is possible. Uh, we want to go to the North Bank, we want to go to URR, we want to go to Fonyi, we want to go to everywhere in Gambia. We want to go to every nook and cranny in this country. For as long as there are needy people there, we want to reach them. We cannot do that though, all by ourselves. So we. We can only do so if people contribute, just like the Indians have done, they are giving us uh, uh, this number of packages. We hope that other Gambians and other peoples and other communities would emulate this wonderful gesture, give us the wherewithal to do it, strengthen us, you know, uh, I mean, empower us and, and give us money. And, uh, uh, you know, with that, be rest assured that we would reach everywhere that you want us to reach in this country. Thank you, Mr. Fah. Thank you.